Yes, how's it going? Nicholas here. Happy Monday. A uh, couple minutes, we will get started. Um, so today, I want to get a few more back bends in. Preferably to start a little bit also with your shoulders too, just kind of heart openers. Um, so I always recommend maybe a, a towel. If you happen to have a yogi strap, great. Something kind of long enough that we get some shoulder work at the beginning just to help release our shoulders this hot Monday afternoon. Uh, but a couple more minutes, water, towel, grab what you need. We got about an hour of vinyasa coming up. So go ahead and get yourself set. Find your space and we'll get started in just a moment. One more minute for anyone who's joining in. Welcome. Happy Monday. Nicholas here. Uh, for anyone who's joining, I want to work a little bit more on shoulders and heart openers today. Um, and something we've done before, which would be with the strap. So, again, I'm aware that you might not have a strap. No worries. Um, a towel would work too. Something kind of just to get our shoulders up towards the beginning. I'll talk you through it as we go. Um, so anything will work. Anything just long enough just to get those shoulders to be able to loosen up a bit. We're also going to start in Hero's Pose Virasana. Um, so I'm going to use blocks because I do have your blocks. But if that's not comfortable for you, um, I want you to go ahead and do what works. I'll be propped up on blocks if you want to prop yourself up on pillows, on blankets, or even just seated regular crossing those shins. However it feels most comfortable for you, go ahead and set that up. It's kind of our opening breath work uh, before we get our practice going. Let's see, is it time? I think it's about time. All right, go ahead and get your space set up. Water towel as you need. If you happen to be in desert at this moment, it is extremely hot. It's getting even hotter. So, I don't know about you, but it totally chills out my energy. And I'm just like, ugh. Especially in the afternoon. I'm like, how can I get anything done in this heat? My goodness. How did I ever live in it before? No, but I do love it. Uh, that being said, just to kind of open up the heart a little bit. Getting us a little bit more grounded. Energy moving. Um, because, like, anything in life, what is around you directly affects you. So... Just whatever the energy is, whatever the mood is, whatever's just going on in your life, the weather. So if you're not used to these temperatures, which I haven't been for quite some time, <laughs> they tend to get to you. So enough talk about the weather. So again, like I said, Yogi's Choice. I'm gonna start myself if I have, happen to have a block. If you have blocks in your home, awesome. You wanna use one and bring it just underneath your bum. Underneath your glute, we're going to start sitting upright. Again, if there are any issues with your knees, if sitting just with the shins crossed would feel more comfortable, or even sitting down on a chair, I didn't bring my chair today. Um, again, feel free to make those modifications. Uh, and just always aware that when we practice in yoga, the difference between pain and discomfort, a lot of the things that we do sometimes do cause some discomfort. It's not comfortable to hold a warrior two for a long time. That's, that's the obvious. Um, but just being able to be aware of certain areas that you always want to focus on, knees, 
should never feel pain. Uh, lower back. Again, we're trying to rid any pain from the lower back and the neck. So always checking in on those spots, but again, just being aware as you practice. So after all that's said, go ahead and take a moment. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Your hands on thighs, palms up, one hand inside the other. Soften your shoulders, lifting your heart. Close your eyes. Just checking in your Monday afternoon. Again, aware of what's going on with your body, with your mind, and maybe, maybe just coming to that awareness. Maybe for the first time today, you're just like, yeah, how am I feeling today? Check in with that. See how things are going. Again, anything around you, anything in your life, around within Tucson, Arizona, the U.S., the world. The craziness, how has it affected you? How things shift, how they change. And as you take a moment, as you might have kind of gone through a list or a scan through your mind, or maybe your mind completely wandered off to something else completely different from what we're doing here. Take a moment, listen for your breath. And whether your breath is traveling in and out of your nose, out of your mouth, a mixture of both, can you just begin to connect yourself with your body? That rise and fall of your chest and belly. A softening of your shoulders down your back. Lift and lift the heart, lift through the spine. Deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. Two more. Deep breath in. And release. One more nice deep breath in. And release. Gently pressing your lips together. See if your breath can travel in and out of your nose only. Creating ujjayi breath. So rather than focus on the heat that's around us that we're living in currently, for those of my friends in Arizona, focus on the heat you can build from within. Allowing you to bring a little bit more control, a little bit more strength, a little bit more support. Not only to your breath, but just to your focus, to your mind, your energy. And setting a goal, setting an intention for your practice. Even if it's something like keeping the shoulders soft, keeping the spine long, keeping the breath aware, conscious, consistent through your whole practice. Your next exhale, gently lower your chin towards your chest, softly bow your head. And your next inhale, taking your time, gently open your eyes, taking your space, your surroundings, and bringing your gaze back up to neutral. Good afternoon, yogis, welcome. Again, for those of you just joining, find a spot, wherever space, comfortable, seated, I'm in a pose called Virasana Hero's Pose. I am sitting on a yogi block. But again, if you need pillows, towels to prop underneath you, go ahead and set them there. Um, we're going to be here for a bit longer, so most important thing, I want to make sure if you are seated in this position, make sure your knees do not hurt. No pain in your knees, so make sure they feel okay. Sit nice and tall. Now, keeping that nice, steady breath flowing, go ahead and take those hands to the shoulders. And just pause, soften the shoulders down, lift the belly up, and as you inhale, reach those elbows up, sides, and down. Ooh. Just take a moment here. Check how are those shoulders feeling today? I don't see any tension. And a lot of that tension might creep up from the shoulders into the neck, into the jaw, vice versa. It might creep down from the jaw into the neck, into the shoulders. Take it the other way. 
depending on what it is that you're doing every day. If you're working from home, sitting at a desk all day, you're not moving as much. Again, the air gets tight, posture kind of shifts. So take a moment just to release the shoulders a bit more, taking one more round here. And then go ahead and gently release. Go ahead and take your right arm, bring it up. Take your left wrist, pull it all the way across your body. Get into that rear delt, that right rear shoulder, back shoulder. Do a nice little stretch here, a little pull. Now gently go ahead and bring your right ear over towards your right shoulder. And soften through your neck, soften through your jaw. Now this right shoulder will naturally want to creep up a bit, but see if you can just gently rest it down. Not forcing it down, but a gentle softening down. Taking one more round of breath. And then go ahead and bring your head back up to neutral. Take that right arm, bring it up. Bring it overhead. Take the hand to the upper back. And gently take that elbow and gently hug it in. Just our half cow face pose, Gomukhasana. Hugging that elbow in and gently walking the hands back. Now careful that we're not just pushing the ribs forward. Can you soften those ribs in just a bit more? Drawing that belly in and up. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more here, inhale. And exhale, gently release. And switching sides, send that left arm forward, pull it across your body. And just hold on to your forearm, towards your wrist, just get a little reach along the back of that left shoulder. Nice pull along that arm. And then go ahead and take your left here, bring it over towards your left shoulder. Feeling a little bit more length through the right side of that neck. And play with it, even if it feels better to slightly tilt the chin up or slightly tilt the chin down. Go for it. Where are you feeling a little bit more of a stretch? And then go ahead and release your hand. Take your time. Bring that left palm up. Reach it over. Bring it to the upper back. And gently take hold of the elbow. Now you want to think of the tricep, the back of the arm. Gently wrap it in and forward as you hug it in towards your ear, towards your head. And walking that left hand down your back. Drawing the ribs in, lifting the hip bones up. Two more rounds of breath. One more here. And then go ahead and gently release. Now go ahead and take both arms out in front of you. Interlace all ten fingers. And then from your pressure palms forward. Now connect your thumbs. And then pressure index knuckle forward, your pointer finger knuckle, press that forward, and then draw your thumbs together, gently draw the thumbs back towards you. Now, I'm going to turn sideways. We want to keep that spine nice and long here. Again, we want to make sure that we're not sinking back here, lifting up as tall as you can, and then reaching your arms up and overhead. I get that nice big lift, that big reach. We are going to take a moment, and I want you to send your shoulders up to your ears. Let's get that nice big reach. Whoo! Now, I'm feeling all that tightness and Create it around the neck, around the ears. Take an inhale. As you exhale, can you gently soften it down? Soften through the jaw, soften through the neck. And again, reach those shoulders up, pressing the palms towards the sky. And as you exhale, gently release. One more here. Inhale. Nice big reach and look up. And exhale, gently release. Let those arms drop down. All right, go ahead and grab. If you haven't already, maybe you want to go run and grab one. A towel or two. If you have a yoga strap, awesome. Then grab your strap. Now we're still seated. Again, any pain through the knees, if you need to adjust your seated position, do it before. Now, just like before, most important thing, I want you to keep that spine long, belly drawn in, and all of that length, as you reach that strap out in front of you, take it up and overhead or towel, and then bring it back behind you. Now, I have to start to widen my hands because I set my grip real narrow. I was trying to go for the gold there. My shoulders are a bit tighter. So, adjust your grip as the strap goes up and back, and then taking it forward again. And then keep moving. Sending the strap up, back, and down. Ooh, and up and forward. Now, you might even, as you keep going through this, as you keep breathing into it, you might start to narrow the grip just a little bit more. Bringing a slightly narrower grip so it gets a little tighter. And we all kind of have that same area for most of us. And it's going to be right around here, and you'll feel that. And even I start to adjust, I start to push my ribs forward to get my arms back. Drawing in, trying to keep that torso stable. And you can even hold there for a moment and just feel that. What 
what's going on back there. Whew. All that stretching and that length, I get through my neck, I can feel it in my shoulder blades, and then reach it up and over. On the front, and feel free as it gets a little bit more open, maybe narrow the grip just a bit more. Ooh. One more breath. On your own, can you maintain a little bit of breath there too? As you inhale, take a nice top up. As you exhale, take it back. And then go and bring your all the way back in a half. From here, go ahead and bend the elbows about 90 degrees with the elbow in form. You might have to narrow the strap, the grip a little bit more. And then from here, I want you to rip whatever you're holding, whether it's a strap, whether it's a towel, I want you to pull as hard as you can rip it. If you do, I'll give you a prize. But you gotta find me first. I'm hidden somewhere in the desert. Pulling those arms across, might even get a little shaky. Drawing that belly in. Taking one more round of breath. And gently release. If those arms really started to shake, awesome. It was a good thing. We were trying to really fight against that stretch. Shoulders broaden. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and shift forward. If you were on a block, if you were on a pillows, on a blanket, awesome. Go ahead and set them to the side. Um, if you were seated, just cross legged, put them to all fours. Now take a moment. If you did have those knees bent, especially in that hero's pose, your asana, go ahead and take a moment, stretch out one leg, stretch out the other. Because again, the knees might have gotten a little tight there. Just get a little release. And then go and set yourself up, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Nice, good old cat cow. As you inhale, pull the heart forward, lengthen through the spine, broaden as you exhale, just chest, belly to spine. And again, inhale, reach the heart forward. And exhale around. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more round right here. Inhale. And exhale. And bring yourself all the way into your neutral spine. Pot. Drawing that belly and support through that core, through that center. And then from here, keep those hips right over those knees. Walk those hands out, gently press that heart down towards the mat. Getting a little deeper into those shoulders, starting to open up through that heart a little bit more. Now again, go where it works for you, even if it's not all the way down, maybe it's your chin, maybe it's your forehead. A nice, gentle. Breath here, taking one more in. And exhale. And then taking your time slowly, walking your hands back up. Nice big stretch to take in that moment. Now, stay engaged with the core, most importantly, because for any of my friends that have a super hyper flexible lower back, and I do too, it can really overarch. So that's why the core, especially through the front core, is so important to really keep those hip bones lifted. So even as you set up for your downward facing dog, as you tuck those toes, as you lift those hips up and back, and whether the joints are super flexible, especially into the shoulder, and it just feels more natural to just press and sink and release, collapse, See if you can get a little bit more of that drawing in. As you pull out your feet, can you draw the belly in a little bit more? So we got length. For anyone that's a little bit tighter then, you might take the stance a little wider, might walk the hand a little bit closer, but wanna make sure for my tighter friends that the shoulders aren't just creeping way up by the way. Just wanna lift those shoulder blades up, release the neck, release to the jaw. And after you take a couple of rounds here, just to pedal, just to release. Ooh. Let's take a moment, some stillness in your downward facing dog. So reach those inner thighs back, spreading your palms, send your hips up towards the sky. Now, it's not mandatory that your heels touch the mat. Most of us, our heels will not reach the mat. The back will like get really tight, especially at the beginning of practice. So just take a moment, just engage your quads, engage your thighs, reach your kneecaps up. Send your inner thighs back, draw the shoulder blades up, soften through your jaw, through your neck. Just setting your breath here. Find your down dog and breathe into it. Taking one more round of breath. And then go ahead and shift your gaze forward. Gently come up onto your toes and go ahead and slowly walk your feet all the way your hands. Now take your time. Soft bend through your knees. Let the head release. Whew. One of my favorite things to do, especially at the beginning of a practice, to bend my knees and just let my ribs, literally, I'm letting my ribs rest on my thighs. Now for some of us, that just might be because hands are tight, so we need to bend the knees that much to reach the hands down. That's fine. 
Put them a little bit more bendy, but a little bit more open through the back of the legs. Just let there be support with your legs. If you're just trying to get that forward fold, again, a prop, a chair, anything that you can help put in front of you to help support, do it. That way the hands are touching something. Gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. And then from here, go and press those hands up onto those thighs. As you inhale, set your heart forward. As you exhale, fold. And then go ahead and reach your arms up and overhead. And exhale. Hands to heart center. Awesome. Coming towards the top of your mat. Take a moment to step those feet off. Hips with Excuse me for just one moment. From here, I want you to take those feet about hips width, belly lifted. I'm going to turn slightly sideways here. And I want you to go ahead and reach those arms up and overhead. Pause. And soften those shoulders down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, give me just a little opening, a little lift of that heart. So from the side, the heart lifts. And then inhale, reach. Don't worry how deep that back bend gets. I want you to think of a string attached to your chest and it's lifting your chest up, not just collapsing the neck back. Lift the chest up and then inhale, reach. And again, broad as we call it, just that nice big reach. And then set those arms back up. Now soft bend through your knees, interlace all 10 fingers behind your back. Draw your shoulder blades together, a soft bend in the elbows if you need. Take that towel between your hands. Let the heart lead as you dive forward. Now again, I bend my knees like so my chest rests on my thighs. Now focus on your shoulders. Send the shoulder blades up away from your ears. Gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. Now, if it's available and you want to keep reaching those knuckles forward, you can. Keeping a soft pen through the elbows. If it's available in the hamstrings, in the um, back of the legs, excuse me, and you want to start to straighten those legs, go for it. And again, gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake. No, as I hang upside down, I realize how long it's been since I've had a hip cut. It's too long. Taking one more inhale. And exhale. Gently release your hands down to the mat. Woo. Now from here, bring your hands to your shins. Again, if you need to bend your knees, bend them. Inhale, reach halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand tall. And rest your heart. Repeating that same sequence, we're going to inhale, float the arms up, exhale, open the elbows to the side, nice little lift through the heart, inhale, lift, exhale, dive forward, inhale, halfway, lengthen through your spine, draw that belly up towards the spine, exhale, release, let the head drop, and a nice long line, bring it all the way up to stand again, exhale, hands to heart, two more just like that, inhale, reach, now first start with opening the elbows to the side, broaden lift the heart, inhale up, exhale dive forward, soft bend through your knees, inhale reach your heart forward, exhale fold, arms overhead stand, exhale hands apart, one more round here, inhale find length, exhale broaden, inhale lift, Soft bend through your knees, reach that heart forward, and bring it up halfway, and then go ahead and bring your hands all the way down towards your mat, plant your palms, step one foot back, Ooh. step the other foot back, all the way into your downward facing dog. Wonderful. I put lotion on my hands right before, so I'm going to be sliding forward for a moment, hold on. Drawing those shoulder blades up, there we go, and send those inner thighs back, again, any pedal that you're needing that you need from here. Engage through those thighs as you inhale. Shift forward, bring your shoulders right over your wrist. Drive that belly in. Soften those shoulders away from your ears. Now pausing here strong through the core. Remember options to bring those knees down to the mat for your plank. Inner thighs reaching up as you exhale. Shift up and back down your facing dog. As you inhale. As you exhale up and back. And one more round here. Inhale forward, pausing. Now I want you to open and bring your knees to your mat just with control. We're going to lower all the way down as you exhale, coming all the way onto your belly. Now from here, go ahead and take those hands, slide them right next to your hips. Palms face down, shoulder blades, gently drawn down on your back. Now as you inhale nice and light, keep your hands down, but gently reach the heart up. Now can you lift the heart without letting your fingertips back, tailbone reaching towards your heels? Starting to open the heart a little bit more. Take another inhale. Keep the breath. Exhale, lower. 
One more time, just like that. Inhale. As you reach your heart forward, not up, think of forward, and then walk the hands back. Can't be brought into those collarbones. Now, maybe you add the arms. Just a little lift. Doesn't have to be high. Keeping that heart hovering over the mat, sending those hip bones up toward your lower ribs. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently lower. Now, this time, you can do both at the same time. As you inhale, broaden through your collarbones. Lift your heart, reach those fingertips towards the wall behind you. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, gently release. Take your hands, slide them forward, plant them onto the mat. Now use those arms as you hug the elbows in. Inhale, nice little lift. Pull that heart forward, shoulders soft. Press back on your knees, tuck your toes. If that's the back, go into a little pose. Now starting to work our way into our vinyasas. Always feel free to take a modified version as we go. Feel free to skip them. We won't have quite as many today because we're going to be working more into those heart openers. But as they pop in, do what you can. Now as you inhale, shift forward. You decide. Knees lifted or on the mat. As you exhale, lower your pillow. Now this time, go ahead and keep your hands on the mat. Hug your elbows in. As you inhale, reach your heart forward. Draw those shoulders away from your ears. Broaden. Tailbone is reaching back towards the heels. Send that heart towards the top of your mat. So you're trying to slide that mat back from underneath you. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower. One more, just like that. As you inhale, reach that heart forward. Draw the shoulder blades away from your ears. Hugging those elbows and tailbone reaching back. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, press back on your knees. Tuck your toes, hips up and back. Downward facing down. Take a moment, pedal. Release. I mean, high up on your toes, begin to look forward. Bend your knees. Nice light step. Maybe a little hop, hop. Bring it to the top. This time, as you bring it all the way to the top, bring your toes together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bending your knees, hand at heart, chair pose, send those hips back. Now draw that belly in, send the weight back into the heels. Keep the collarbones nice and broad. A lift through the spine length. Now keeping that nice lift, keeping the nice broadening, just the arms reach them up. Shoulders soft from the ears. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, gently release. Inhale, press forward. Take your left foot, step it all the way back, take a low lunge. Left knee all the way to the mat, right knee over right ankle. As you inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Belly draws in, reach the tailbone. Now soften your shoulders, release the hands. Can you interlace the fingers behind your back? And then as you inhale, send those knuckles down towards the mat. And a little bit more broadening, a little bit more opening through the heart. Through the Two more rounds here. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, gently release your hand forward. Pop. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Front knee over the ankle, send the heart forward, draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Soft bend through the back knee. As you inhale, bring yourself all the way into your crescent lunge. Now if it's too intense right now, you keep that back knee on the mat, keep it in the nice low lunge, shoulder soft. If you're feeling all right, can you sink the hips just a little bit deeper? Then can you power back leg just a little bit more? Well, lifting through the front of the body. So rather than just letting everything spill forward and then over stretching through the hip, draw that belly and engage, support. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, reach your hands forward, bend, step all the way to the top, and switch right foot back. Second side, right knee to the mat. My hips are real tight today. Belly lifts, and set those arms up and overhead. Hug that left out of your back, reach the tailbone down. So even here, feel this nice lift through the core, through the center, interlace behind your back. Draw your shoulder blades together, gently lift as the collar will broad and chin slightly lifts. I'm not just dropping my head back, I'm keeping a little lift. So it's more, again, that string attached to my chest. It's pulling the chest up, but I'm just gently following it with my gaze. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently release. Hands to the mat, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Now hug the left hip back. Left knee over left ankle, reach the heart forward. Get into the core first, ground the legs. As you inhale, soft bend through the back knee, float the arms up, breath and pose. Now sending the hips down, Whew. power through the back leg. Keep that lift through the center, and sink a little bit deeper. And double check, 
any tension through the shoulders. Soften. Taking one more inhale here. And this time, let's exhale, let's plant those palms. Step it back in the plank. Now you decide, are you taking your vinyasa or do you wanna go straight back to down dog? From here, knees up or down, as you exhale lower. And again, my friends, working through vinyasa, just keep it into a little cobra pose again. Shoulders soft, collarbones broad, tucking your toes, hips up and back, down, facing up. Taking a nice little pedal, a little release through the back of those legs. Deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Coming high up on your toes, looking forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Nice light step or hop. Bring it all the way up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale. Bend your knees, hands to heart, chair. Ooh, katasana. Soften those shoulders away from the ears. Belly stays lifted. And as you inhale, lengthen and release. Ah, uh, up, you guys? All right, we're gonna head right into our shoulder opener, our full gomukhasana, possibly with a trap, uh, towel or a strap. So, if you are using one here, you're gonna set it over your left shoulder. I'm gonna turn backwards. We're gonna take our right arm. We're gonna bring it up to the upper back, hugging, hugging this right tricep in, and then our left arm reaches out and extends up. Now, the reason for the strap would be to connect, so that we've got something to hold on to. Otherwise, the goal is to bring those fingers all the way together. So you decide with a strap, without a strap, whatever you need, I want you to do that. Now from here, hugging the elbow in, with the over-releasing through those ribs, draw the ribs in, bring your big toes together. If this is enough, stay right where you are. If you want a little bit more heat, send those hips back into your chair pose. Now remember, as we sit here into our chair, don't let the head, don't let the gravity pull all this down, ouch. Keep the heart lifted, keep reaching the elbow nice and long. Sending the hips back, drawing the ribs in. It looks like my ribs are really poking out. It is my shirt though. Keep opening through this left shoulder. And on your next inhale, gently press the mat. And gently release, awesome. If you're using that strap on that left shoulder, great. Move it to your right shoulder. Now same setup here. We're gonna take our left arm, bring it high this time. And then your right arm flips, brings it up, up underneath. Now again, if you need that strap, you take hold of that strap. Hug the left tricep forward, hug the right shoulder back, soften your ribs in. Now keep reaching the elbow up, take an inhale, and as you exhale, send your hips back, press into the mat. Now maintain your breath. And again, double check, are those ribs just pushing forward? Draw those ribs in, really support all around that spine. Keeping that torso stable and the shoulders release. Take another inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, take your time, gently press, extend, whoo, soft those shoulders. Awesome. Let's take it through a little vinyasa here. I apologize, I keep messing with my hair because I keep looking at it and it is massive. I need a haircut. Inhale, float the arms up. And exhale, soft bend, reach the heart forward. I mean, I kind of like it, but I might get a little trim. Reaching that heart forward, flat your palms. Either step back for a plank into vinyasa or right back to downward facing dog. Now we're gonna work our way into a little upward facing dog. So we're gonna bring it all the way down onto the mat. Again, if you wanna skip this, you go back to downward dog. With our up dog, we're gonna bring those wrists right next to the ribs, just like Cobra, hug the elbows in. Now, before you even begin, I would start by pressing the tops of the feet down, the knees start to lift. So my legs are already on fire here, they're heated up. And then as you inhale, it is a lot more work through those arms at the beginning, but you don't want it to be so much about just dropping the hips and then locking the elbows out, soft bend. Hug those elbows in and then broaden, lift. Again, not just the release through the neck, a little through the heart. One more inhale. As you exhale, whoo, hips up and back. Now, if all that up dog business is too much, stick with Cobra. Any pedaling, any release, go for it. Gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. Three rounds, just to get some heat through our core. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, and back. And two more, exhale. And back. And one more, exhale, pause. Step your foot all the way between your hands. 
Now we're going to ride into our warrior one, back hill, drops down on the mat. We usually just head into warrior two here, but today we're going through warrior one. So, much like Crescent, if I'm facing straight on, one foot is on one side, one foot's on the other, they're not exactly lined up. And as you inhale, reach. Of course, if we're doing more Iyengar style, I technically would be, but we're not doing that today. So, hugging it in, because I want you to focus on right hip hugging back, hip bones lifting up, and extension that reach through the arms. Now, back leg is straight. If the back knee starts to bend or release, it's not taking its full amount of weight. So, press that left pinky toe in the mat, draw the shoulders down. Keeping that reach now from here. That back heel stays planted into the mat, just the arms lower, palms face forward. Take an inhale, lift the heart. As you exhale, reach that heart forward, Ooh, pausing here. Can you press more energy, more weight into that back leg? Ooh, as my knee gets the side. Hugging that outer hip back, you're gonna take the arms right out in front of you. Now there is gonna be a lot of weight working into that front leg, but can you keep pressing energy into that back leg? Taking one more inhale here, and then as you exhale, nice work, yogis, pressing those hands down to the mat, pause. Let's step the left knee. Let's step the right foot back. Side plank, flashy sasana. Now again, maybe you're staying here, maybe this is enough for you. If you want a little bit more oblique work, then straighten that left leg, stack the feet, pause here. We are gonna come here a little bit later, so feel free to give it a try, even if it's just for a breath or so. Don't lock your left elbow, soft bend, broaden, take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, gently releasing your hand down, pause. Vinyasa or down dog. You decide if you're taking vinyasa though. As you exhale, if you're taking that up dog, can you lower halfway, pause, Whew. flip your toes. And the hips never touch the back. Broaden, exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Three rounds, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose. And send it back. And two more. Exhale, forward. And back. And one more. Exhale, forward. Pause at the top. Step your foot between your hands. Now from here, your back heel all the way down to the mat. Hugging the hip back. We're going to warrior one. So warrior one, back heel's down. Back leg is straight. Those right pinky toe. That right pinky toe is pressing into the mat. As I inhale, you support sweep the arm up. So, make sure you know the difference between crescent and a warrior one. Crescent, our back heel's lifted all the way up. Warrior one, our back heel's pressing into the mat. Soften those shoulders. Now, nice deep bend through the front leg. Hug the left hip back. And the feet are about hip width is always good. Some will align heel to heel. It's a very narrow alignment. And no one's hips are that narrow. Taking one more breath here. Gently release those arms, palms face forward, belly lifts up. As you exhale, release. Not release, I'm sorry, excuse me. Engage and reach forward. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears, keep that front knee over the ankle, keep that back leg straight. Now from here, can you take the arms? Use the core support. As you reach forward, whoo. Two more breaths, take an inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, gently release your hands down. Now pause. Right knee all the way to your mat. Left leg reaches back. From here, find that reach. If this is enough, stay awesome. If you want a little bit more, extend both legs. Stack in the shoulders, stack in the hips, and fire through those release. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, gently releasing your hands down, pause. Brought up through the collarbones, reach that heart forward. Downward dog, or take your vinyasa. If you're going into Cobra, you can lower all the way down. If you're taking that up dog, can you just lower halfway? And then go right into that lift. Soften the shoulders. Exhale. Send you up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. I mean, high up onto your toes, look forward. Exhale. Bend your knees a nice light step. Or hop, bring it all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand. And hands to heart. Awesome, you guys. Taking a moment, we're gonna head into our Warrior Two series. From here, I want you to go ahead and step your left foot back. Actually, I'm sorry, I lied. Face the left side of your mat. Take those feet, 
make sure the ankles are aligned under the wrist, and then bring hands to hip. Bend your right knee. Send your right toes forward. Send your left toes. Line up with your back big toe. Why this one is on one track? It's because we're opening up the hips. Rather than trying to square them off to the front, we're trying to open towards the side. So it helps to have that narrower setup. Send that inner thigh forward, draw the belly up, press the palms down, warrior two. Pausing here. Now this will probably be the last round of our standing before we start to take it into our back bend heart openers, but I want you to take those arms, reach them out in front of you. Now, I want you to take your left arm high, cross it over your, your right elbow, and then gently draw the shoulders down. Now we're reaching for the hands. If you need, you grab a towel, you hold on. Now check, did that front knee start to straighten? Can you bend a little bit deeper? Send that inner thigh forward. Soften the shoulders down. Drop belly. Hugging that right outer hip back. Two more breaths here. One more round of breath here. And then taking your time, going to extend, release the arms. Woo. Pause. Keep the deep bends of the legs. Round yourself into your space. Keep the bend. Interlace behind your back. Now, square your shoulders off towards the left side of your mat. Draw your shoulder blades together. Gently draw those shoulder blades down away from the ears. Staying here with that belly lifted. In. Don't just let everything spill out in front of you. Take another inhale. And exhale. Gently extend the arms. Extend the leg. Release. Whew. Turn your toes to the side. You're going to step or hop them together. So I can keep facing the camera. I'm going to turn around. You technically don't have to. You could just go right to the other side. But we got a camera situation, so i got to switch to my other side. Your other leg now is going to be the bent knee, so it should be your left leg. If it's your right, no worries. Just make sure you're doing both sides. Wrist are over ankles. Huh. Bend your left knee. Left toes forward. Right toes turn up. Now send that inner thigh forward. Sink into it. But as you sink, then lift up. Support. So that we are lengthening up as we reach down. Left arm forward. Right arm down. Right arm back. Pause in here. Keep hugging that left outer hip back. Then both arms out in front of you. Now this time, right arm is high. Left arm underneath. And gently sink into your arm. Above. Keep the bend, keep the breath. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round inhale. And exhale. And then gently release the arms, extend. Pause. Are you still in a nice deep warrior two with the leg? Can you interlace the fingers behind your back and then gently draw the shoulder blades down? Send that inner thigh forward a little bit more. Pausing here, keep the breath. Ribs are joined in again. It might look, I think it's the angle, but keep the ribs and they go a little bit more. Try the ribs in. Send that inner thigh towards the top of your mat. Two more breaths. One more. And find that extension. Woo! Reach it up. Now, if your legs were talking to you, good. We were holding that warrior two for a minute. If they were not, Chances are you probably could have gone a little bit deeper in your warrior too. Either way, awesome job, nice work. Toes together, belly lifts, shoulders soft. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale. Plant your palms, either vinyasa or straight back to a downward facing dog, yogi's choice. Inhale to lift if you're taking that vinyasa. And exhale through that core support, rolling over those toes to the back. Now, let's go ahead and shift all the way forward. Everyone, knees to the mat. Go and lower onto your belly. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders for Sphinx Pose. Now, elbows under shoulders, palms planted down. Broaden through your collarbones, pull your heart forward. Now, again, here's where my friends with very flexible lower backs are going to just push their back into the mat. And they're just gonna completely arch into that lower back. Awesome but there's no support there. So what I want you to do is I want you to reach your tailbone back and imagine that like you're trying to lift your belly, your belly button off the mat. And even if it doesn't fully lift, that's fine. But you want to engage. So already that difference, I can feel my entire core fired up. Why not fire up the core? Why not get some forward? Draw the shoulders down, broaden into the collarbone, sphinx pose. Now pressing here. Take another round of breath. Now from here, can we add a little bit more heat? We're going to take it into a forearm plank. Can you tuck your toes? Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep that core, but now fire through the legs, lift. 
Take an inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Now with control, gently release the hips down. Pause. Planting the palms. Lift the heart. Drawing that belly in. Now again, that's enough. You go with that. We're going to add a little bit more with those shoulders. So if it feels all right and you want to walk your feet up. Now my forearms stay on the mat, not on hands. It's basically like doing a downward dog, but on your forearms. Headed towards dolphin pose. So, yogi's choice. If you need to watch first, I will, of course, demo. Belly lifted, shoulders away from ears. Tuck your toes. Now, core engage. We're going to lift. Now, again, you can stay here or ooh, start to walk the feet up. Most important thing, my head is not on the mat. Even if I drop my head, it's just my hair. It's really big. It will touch the mat. But my head is not resting because it is not a headstand. And you walk your feet to where it works for you. You walk them as close as you can. My hamstrings are a little bit more open and so are my shoulders, so I'm able to get my feet pretty close. If you don't get here, that is fine. But I want you to keep pressing your heart back. Keep setting your inner thighs back. You can release the neck. Soften the jaw. Raise the same pose up, taking a one more inhale. If you are in a dolphin pose, awesome. Walk it back. Awesome. Heart forward, take an inhale. Exhale. Release with control. All right, let's finish out some of this back bend work right here on our bellies on the mat. I want you to extend your hands back. Now you can keep them alongside the hips like we did at the beginning, or go ahead and interlace. Now, as you inhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Begin to lift the heart forward. Now to try not to lock out the elbows, keep a soft bend. Now hip bones are lifted up. My breath is still flowing. Maybe you add length and begin to lift those inner thighs. In that length and lift the heart pulling forward, the tailbone reaching back. Your breath is still going. Taking one more inhale here. And as you exhale, gently release. Feel free to bring those hands underneath your head. Take a moment. Settle into your space. Stay in there for a moment. Ooh. I apologize. I have to do a time check. I usually use my playlist as my time check because I know where the music is. But we don't, we're not using playlists here on YouTube. It's all right, all good. As you inhale, go ahead and slowly begin to interlace the fingers again. One more round, just like that. And then begin to lift your heart, draw the shoulder blades together. Your bones lift, maybe that's enough, maybe. You draw those inner thighs up and you reach that heart forward. Now try not to just over squeeze your bum, your glutes, and you reach the inner thighs up and lift the hip bones up. So can you work the front of the body a little bit more? One more, inhale, and exhale, release. And the reason is because those glutes will definitely take over. You want to be careful how much they're taking over um, and not making it so much so that we're getting into that lower back. So if that's enough, you go with that. Or one last round, you take a little bit deeper, reach for the ankles. Now here is where you get into the legs. Again, more work through the legs than pinching into your lower back and just arching and pulling your heart up. So as you inhale, the idea is that you want to kick. You know the saying when you lift something heavy, lift with your legs, not your back. Same thing here. You're trying to lift your torso, but don't lift with your back. Lift with your legs. Yes, the back does have to engage, of course, but use the legs are a little bit more powerful to kick into. Drawing those shoulder blades down and away from your ears. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, whoo, gently release. If you did take the ankles, down your must go ahead and take those hands, bring them under your forehead, and then just a gentle sway side to side, release out that lower back. One more round of breath here. And then go and gently release, slide your hands back. Especially with all that back bend stuff. If the lower back to get a little tight, maybe we engage a little bit too much. Take it into your down dog, pedal it out. And here especially, would be a nice time to take a nice deep bend into those knees. Just release it, letting it go. Keep that movement. We are gonna take one more round of standing pose, but it's gonna be nice and simple. Core one, we're gonna add on to it just a bit. All right, when you're ready, take the right leg up. 
Bring your knee to your nose, step your foot between your hands. Now your back heel, all the way down to the mat, warrior one. Hug your right hip in, reach your heart forward as you inhale, sweep the arms up. Ooh, that hair is crazy, I'm like sideshow bob. Take those hands, interlace behind your back. Now, make sure that back heel is grounded. The heel is not coming up, press that back heel down. Draw the shoulder blades together and lift. Send that inner thigh forward. Draw the hip bones up. Now don't let the shoulders creep up by the ears. Keep them soft. You can take the right foot a little bit wider to the right side of your mat. Take an inhale, lift. As you exhale, humble warrior. Release your head down towards your ankle. And release your arms above the head. Now I've got power pressing into my left foot. I'm trying to get those shoulder blades up off my ears. And that nice stretcher. Hug your right bum in. Imagine if you're in a crowded yoga class, your neighbor does not want your bum on their mat. Keep it on yours. Hug it underneath you. Taking one more inhale here. And then as you exhale with control, release the hand. Pause. Lift the heart. Take your back foot and go ahead and hop it up just about a foot or so halfway. Not even halfway. Hugging that right outer hip back. Take a little soft bend, extend, a little bend, extend. And then when it feels all right for you, just take a moment, just release, fold over that front leg. Whoo, deep into that hamstring. One more right here. And then plant your palms. Yogi's choice, vinyasa, or right back to down. Second side, left foot step forward. Drop your right heel all the way to the mat. Now hugging that left hip in. Draw the belly in. Now what's happening to your right foot? It is planted, pressing onto your mat. Find that lift. So I'm trying to shift as much weight back as I can because I know we're going forward. But I want to get the lift through the center, power through the back leg, press into that right pinky toe, interlace your fingers. Now. I might need a little bit more space for my torso, so I widen that foot to the left side a little bit more. Keep hugging the left hip back. As you inhale, find that lift. And then as you exhale, take the fold where it works for you. Some of us might just go here. Even if you're just gently resting those ribs against the thigh. Maybe you're still lowering a little bit more. Hug the left bum in. Again, we're not trying to let that left bum hang onto our neighbor's mat should we be in a class. You wanna hug it underneath you. So that way when you finally make it to the yoga studio, and you're going to Humble Warrior. You're all set on the mat. Taking two more rounds of breath here. Press through that back leg, taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, ooh, get release. Lift, take your back foot. Pop it up just about a foot or so. Hugging that left outer hip back. And then as you exhale, release. The head drop down towards the mat. And if you need to get a little bend straight. And even if it feels better to keep a soft bend through that knee, go for it. Go where that hamstring stretch is for you. And my left one, much tighter than my right one. One more round of breath. Find your palms. Either back into a vinyasa or straight back to your downward facing dog. <laughs> and then go ahead and step or hop. I want you to go ahead and bring those feet all the way through. Between your hands and let's come onto our back. We're gonna go all the way down onto our backs. Um, we're gonna head into bridge pose. We're gonna do it a little bit earlier today rather than just doing bridge, shavasana. We're gonna do bridge and then we'll do some stretching. So, the reason for that is because if you choose to do wheel or vidanyarasana, um, it is pretty heating, so it, we want to put a couple stretches in between there before we get there. So, if you don't know what I said, sorry, I'll talk you through it. I lower all the way down. Coming onto your back, make sure that you can brush your heels with your fingertips. Gently let your head drop down. Now, from here, you're going to press your feet as you exhale, send your hips up. Send your tailbone towards your knees, send your hip bones up. Connected, drawing your ribs towards your hip bones, engage your core. Now, naturally, we want to squeeze the glutes, but you can bring a little bit more attention to your hamstrings. So that way, we can softly release the lower back a little bit more. 
You can keep the hands pressing. You can twist the fingers. You have to draw the shoulder blades together. Just a bit to lift the heart. Now your chin is reaching up to the sky. I keep turning my head to talk towards the camera. But you want to keep your chin reaching up to the sky and keep that natural curve through the neck. Two more rounds of breath here. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, gently release yourself down. And settle into the space. Now if you're letting it so that was enough, awesome. You could even chill here for a moment, drop the knees in, hang out. If you want to do one more just like that, you take another bridge. If you want to take it another step further, then we're going to go ahead and make our way into wheel. Or if it's on your awesome. So, with wheel, you're going to set the hands right alongside. Sorry, and I'm trying to figure out an angle that would be best. So you're going to bring the hands right next to the ears. You're going to hug the elbows in. Now, let legs, legs, legs. Lift with your legs. Yes, your arms will work, but you have to engage with the legs. You want to make sure the toes don't turn straight out to the side. Plant those toes down forward. Now you have to listen carefully because you will come on to the top of the head and lift the shoulder blades. But my legs are still so engaged that I can continue to lift with the legs to press the heart up. No, I got it from the side. In order to get into that, lifting up, I came onto the head. I'm not putting my weight down, my hands are still supporting. I'm strong to those legs. And then I'm coming all the way up. Now from there, you can even walk the feet in a little closer, but when it comes up, pressing that heart up and then sending that tailbone forward. Broadening, lifting through the heart. I can you hold as long as it works for you. Maybe one more round of breath here. And then as you exhale, whoo, chuck the chin in towards your chest and lower pause. Let your back settle for a moment. Hugging your knees in. And a gentle rock side to side. Awesome work, yogis. Whew. Let's go and bring ourselves all the way up. We're gonna rock and roll forward and back and roll to the side to bring it up. I'm into a seated. Now we didn't do a whole lot of externals. We just did really one standing posture of externals. But we're gonna take a little single or double pigeon set up here. Left shin forward, right shin on top. Now flexing both feet. Again, because we didn't get too deep in the hip today, externally rotating them, if this is super intense, you can adjust it by bringing the ankle in front and folding forward that way. Where's one of the places we don't want to feel pain? The knees. So, make sure the knees feel okay. The knees feel good. If you're sitting tall, you can stay here. If it feels all right to keep reaching forward, to keep folding, releasing, and drawing the heart down. More rounds of breath here. And on your next inhale, take your time. Slowly rock back. Even if you just did the shins, that's all right. Switch sides, cross the other shin in front. If you had that stack, then go ahead and take that left shin on top. I am crossing my ankle just above. You don't want to really sickle the foot, especially for my breakout studios friends. You will know what a sickled foot looks like. Usually make sure the ankle's nice and long, sitting nice and tall, shoulders are soft. That's enough. You stay here. Otherwise, whew, you reach it forward. If this happens to be your tighter side, which today it is, it's all right. Breathe into it. Take it a moment. Allow your body kind of ease its way in. There's no rush, there's no stress. Taking two more on your own here. On your next inhale, take your time, slowly walking your hands up. One last stretch here before we settle into our final pose. Take both legs and give them a little wiggle. Shake. Go ahead and feel free to take the skinnier bum. Gently pull it up. Flexing all ten toes. Pull them back towards you. 
Reach your arms up overhead, wrap your triceps forward ah, as you exhale. Ooh, that release. Inhale, pull the heart up, draw the shoulders down a little bit more. As you exhale, keep sending that heart forward. And again, inhale. As you exhale, a little pull. One more round here. On your next inhale, take your time, slowly lift. From here, go ahead and take a bend through your knees. Take your time. Slowly rolling yourself down. If it feels good to hug your knees in one more time, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we're going to start to extend your legs. Feel free to cover your body, cover your face. Allow your body to settle. Palms will face up. And begin to move into your final pose with your body settling onto your space. Take a comfortable inhale and a gentle sigh out your mouth. As you get to move into Shavasana. Gently begin to keep your breath. Bringing movement back to your fingers and your toes. Reaching your arms all over your head, take a long stretch through your body. And as you exhale, bend your knees. Roll into your side, allow your breath to deepen. Your next exhale, press yourself up to a seated position, crossing at your shin. And as you come to a nice seated position, feel free to bring your hands together at heart center, lifting your heart, broadening to your collarbone. Closing here with three deep breaths. Take a deep inhale. And release. Two more deep breath in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. Feeling in all the practice, the work, the effort. Namaste. Thank you, yogis. Pleasure as always. Again, my name is Nicholas. I will be teaching again Friday at 9 a.m. Um, I've been trying to do a little theme for the week, so this week has been a little bit more about shoulders and heart openers. Um, Friday, we're gonna get deeper into that, so we're gonna do more. I moved a little slower today. Um, I kind of like the pace, especially the heart openers. We're gonna take our time. We'll take our time, but I'm gonna add more to different poses. So. Check it out on Friday, it will be different. Have a great rest of your Monday. Have a great rest of your week. Drink lots of water out there because it is so hot. See you guys soon. Ooh, that crazy hair. Bye. <laughs>